All right, everybody, what's up? It's Thunder. What you're seeing on the screen right here is my Black Ops 1 combat record. As you can see, the kills, deaths, kill death ratio 3.07. Pretty sexy. It shows your assists, your accuracy, your headshots, your best gun streak. I have a 33 gun streak in Black Ops 1. I mean, look at everything it shows you. It shows you your best weapon, your accuracy with that weapon. I mean, it's just great. It looks really, really cool, right? This is the Black Ops 1 combat record. Now, let's look at the Black Ops 2. Oh, so here we go. Black Ops 2, it shows you your kills, your win-loss ratio, and your score per minute. Okay, it lets you show your uh, your showcase titles right there, whatever. And it gives you your little uh, profile shot on the left, which is Frito's Epic Dolphin Dive. The best profile shot ever. As you can see, man, I have a 3.07 KD in Black Ops 1, but a 2.20 KD in Black Ops 2? What? Does that mean I lost a step? Let's find out. Let's get into this gameplay right here. Let's find out. Did I just get worse? Do I just suck at Call of Duty all of a sudden? Or is it just Treyarch that just lost their way? Let's find out. So I got a little TDM action here on launch. And I don't think I lost a step, guys, because I'm still beasting the shit out of people just like I always used to do. It's just in, in Black Ops 1, I think it's, I have way less, you know, what the fuck deaths. You know, way less, uh, oh, get beasted, son. The patented thunder jump drop shot from cover. Um, I just have way less what the fuck deaths, man, period. There's less people, you know, running the other direction with their gun pointed at the ground, smoking me instantly. Less knee-jerk bullshit sniper one-hit kills to the ankle reactions. Uh, you know, people can't hide in the back of the map with target finder LMGs and just smoke me. I mean... Black Ops 2 just does not cater to my playstyle at all. At all. Or Black Ops 1, dude, I could rush, rape, and reload. And man, the, look at that sexy reload. You see that shit? The reload is so sweet in Black Ops 1, man. This game just suits my playstyle so much better. I mean, you can't reload fast at all unless you're using, I think, the Scorpion Evo with Fast Mag. That's probably the fastest reload in the game. But, I mean, this game is just so sweet, dude. This is by far my favorite Call of Duty. I mean, yeah, Ghost Pro is annoying. People uh, with Second Chance is annoying. I mean, but that's it, dude. Those are the only two mistakes Treyarch really made with this game. And they should have made the UAV easier to spot. They, if they made the UAV, like, way easier to spot, the UAV wouldn't be that much of a problem. But in this game, there's many times where the UAV's up, and I'm looking, looking, look, I can't find the bitch. I cannot find it. It's too small. I can't find it. It's hidden in the clouds. If they made the UAV easier to spot, Nerf Ghost a little bit, and took second chance out of this game. Look at that, I die one off my VSAT. I hate that shit. I hate when I die one off my VSAT. It's so annoying. <laughs> but, um, yeah, the game, Black Ops 1, definitely my favorite game. Get on, son. Payback. Uh, all right, so what do I want to talk about in this video, guys? Hey, look, man, I'll be the first to admit, I am not a fan of David Vondahar anymore. I used to be. I used to be in Black Ops 1, you know. Me, me and Vaughn had a rocky relationship in Black Ops 1. We really did. I, I hated him for putting second chance in the game. I couldn't understand why the fuck second chance. Look at this dude. What is this dude doing? Get on, baby. This dude was doing the hide in the dead body trick, but he didn't see me. Oh, I wasn't a fan of Von at first, but then I started to respect the guy. And then Black Ops 2 came out, and I was just like, Von, what are you doing, man? Von DeHart just I mean, baffling the moves they made with Black Ops 2. Completely baffling. I mean, they went, they stopped catering to Red Gunners and pub players and they started catering to the MLG pros and the snipers I mean they went the complete opposite direction I mean Black Ops 2 is completely opposite from Black Ops 1 it's like it wasn't even made by Treyarch if I sat down and played Black Ops 2 I'd be like who the fuck made this game is this like a Raven game or a Neversoft game or maybe possibly Sledgehammer made this I would never thought that Treyarch made Black Ops 2 it's nothing like Black Ops 1 nothing <laughs> not even close uh, but as, as pissed off and as frustrated as I am with Black Ops 2 and, and David Vondahar and, and the multiplayer development team, I would never give the man death threats. I would never threaten the man's family. I mean, there's been numerous reports coming out, and I'll link uh, one article in the description. Oh, and there's my, black, my Blackbird right there. And watch this move right here, fellas. Watch this move. Ready? Here we go. Ready? Here we go. Pre-fire around the corner. Oh, get owned. What? I pre-fired a dude around the corner and he died? Thank you, Black Ops 1. Thank you. Well, Black Ops 2, when I pre-fire a dude around the corner, I just get insta-killed. <laughs> but, but, um, oh, watch this. I get flashbang. Now watch my... See, I can do the dead body trick, too. Surprise, bitch. Get owned. 
All right, fellas. So I mean, as frustrated as I get with this game, I would never be giving David Vondahar death threats like like some not all of you guys, but some of you guys out there tweeting Vondahar death threats, threatening his family. Man, what the fuck's wrong with you guys, dude? I mean, honestly, what is wrong with you? People? Stop threatening the man. Look, if you don't like this game and it bothers you that much that you feel like you got to give somebody death threats, go play another game. I mean, I get pissed off playing this game. I get frustrated, but I'm never threatening to kill somebody because of it. And threatening the man's family? Look, dude, Vondahar's a human being. You think he likes going to sleep at night knowing there's people threatening his family? Come on, man. You guys need to knock that shit off, dude. Never. If you got a problem with a man, just have the problem with the man. Don't, you don't got to take it out on his family. Talk about his daughter. Talk about his wife. That's some bullshit, fellas. You guys need to knock that shit. Look, second chance. Get the f I would never revive a second chance, bitch. See? No, if I stopped to revive that dude, I would have died. You see that shit? <laughs> if I stopped to revive that dude, I would have died. And uh, this looks like a good place to call him a chopper gunner. So, here we go, here we go. Bust the phone out, slide the door back, and see what's up. Actually, this is a shitty chopper gunner, guys. No chopper gunner music. Uh, sorry, I know. Hey, don't blame me. Blame them. They shot me down. Watch this shit. So, I got some red boxes here. Come on, get two kills. And I think, <laughs> I think that's all I get. Come on, baby. Uh, I'm getting locked on. Three kills. Come on, come on. And down I go. So three kill chopper gunner. Definitely not worth the chopper gunner song. What the hell is this? How does this guy not see me? You gotta be kidding me. <laughs> How the fuck did that guy not see me? But thanks for the commando though, son. Five finger discount on the commando. Thank you. And I love this gun, dude. I love the commando. I gotta get some gameplay with the commando for you guys soon. So, uh... Oh, get on, baby. Drop shot this dude. Oh, don't get turned on now. Get beasted, bitch. Ah! <laughs> oh, shit, man. Damn. Alright, I didn't see this dude. Good shit, good shit. All right, so uh, first of all, let's get back to the David Vondahar, you know, threatening his life and family bullshit. Listen, what, what did Vondahar do that's worth him getting these threats over? Because he nerfed three guns, he nerfed two snipers and another assault rifle. Hey, listen, snipers, what are you so upset about, man? He 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 nerfed the uh, firing rate of two snipers, and you're threatening his life. First of all, man, you people think I complain? The snipers are the biggest crybaby bitches in the COD community by far. It's not even close. I mean, you guys cried so hard about Juggernaut back in COD 4 and World at War that they removed that shit. Why? You can still get... I, I use Juggernaut all the time in those games. I still get one hit killed by snipers at least probably 50% of the time. Look, here's the bottom line, fellas. Snipers are the biggest cancer in the Call of Duty community today, and they're ruining the game. I mean, they're the most annoying, most obnoxious, most idiotic. They're not even good teammates. I mean, all they're good for is montage clips. You guys saw that last video I uploaded a few videos back. The whole video, my sniper teammates are doing 720s off the roof. That's it. I mean, they weren't even helping me. They were just they were just being obnoxious, spinning around like ballerinas. And I didn't see that dude right there. Good shit, man. <laughs> dude just came out of nowhere. Oh, man, that was a rolling thunder over there, too. Shit. That would have been some nice pirate booty for your boy Thunder. And what the? Look at this. Little, what? <laughs> what the hell? Little creeper, look at this shit. Wow, <laughs> I didn't stand a chance. All right, man, as you can see, I'm getting my ass kicked a lot toward the end of this video, but I still think it's a pretty solid gameplay, man. I mean, I don't think I lost a step. I still think I'm a pretty damn solid player. And, oh, come on, man. All right, maybe I'm not. Maybe I did lose a step, but I don't know what the fuck. Damn, not for mass. Ah. But, first of all, man, snipers that are upset about that nerf that took place the other day on two of your rifles there, man. Hey, guys, come on, man. You had nine months. You had nine. The snipers are still mad OP. Just be lucky it was Vondahar nerfing your shit and not your boy Thunder. Because if I was nerfing the snipers, oh my god. You'd see some idle sway. You'd see way less aim assist. You'd be seeing... <laughs> I mean, you'd actually have to be good. Imagine that. You'd actually have to aim with the sniper to get kills. Can you imagine? Can you imagine the kind of death threats your boy would be getting if I nerfed the snipers the way I wanted to? Of course, me. You know, I wouldn't give a flying fuck. I wouldn't go crying about it. I would be like, oh, stop threatening me. I wouldn't give a fuck. Bring it, bitch. And this dude takes me out again. God damn, I'm getting beasted. But as you can see, man, I'm carrying my team, dude. That's what I do. I'm like Tom Brady, just carrying a team of scrubs to greatness. Here we go. Come on now, son. Look at this. Oh, finish strong with the double drop shot, son. And the flames going too. This is going to be one sexy final kill cam. Let's check this shit out. So, people, did I lose a step? I mean, did I just fall off in the last two years? Or was just Black Ops 2 a fucking shit-ass horrible game? You be the judge. I think the gameplay here more than speaks for itself. I hope you guys enjoyed it. And if you did, please don't forget to titty slap that like button. It's your boy Thunder. I'll see you on the next one. Peace.